The games begin. The games Woo! begin. Brittany, if you were to <laughs> compete in any Winter Olympic sport, what would it be? It would have to be some sort of cross country skiing thing. Okay. I would love to do the ski jump, you know, where they look like the flying squirrels. Yeah. And the... <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty sick. I would love to do yeah. it. What about you? I wish I could do figure skating. Oh. I love the costumes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just think it's so beautiful and wonderful to watch. However, I am not good on skates. Yeah. So it's like a, a girl piece. can dream. <laughs> we can all dream, right? I don't think I can do the squirrel flying either. <laughs> Maybe with those winds yesterday. Maybe I'd have a little help, right? Oh, righty. Our high temperatures into those upper 20s to low 30s yesterday. We hit them early in the morning. We slowly drop throughout the rest of the day. And now we're looking at temperatures about 15 degrees cooler than yesterday morning. That cold has spilled in throughout the Midwest here into the Great Lakes region. In fact, Detroit and us, we are like the warmest temperatures throughout the entire region. Chicago's at 7 degrees and International Falls is at negative 15 actual temperature. So you can see that has spilled down all the way into Kansas. Even the panhandle of Texas is feeling the same temperature as us here this morning. So wake up Wisconsin. Let's enjoy it, right? We're looking at 15 degrees into Green Bay, 12 right now into Appleton. There are some slick and slippery roads out there. Our temperature is sitting into those teens to single digits. Plus those winds, it's blowing and drifting that snow that fell yesterday all around again. It's up at sustained up to 15 miles per hour gusting to the mid 20s, especially right now into Ephraim. A very breezy morning out there. Now it's going to stay breezy today for most of it then it's going to get windy and pretty gusty as we close off the evening hours as we start to see those gusts pick up once again so blowing and drifting snow ongoing throughout the entire day once again today especially into door county and here into the green bay area visibility down to just about a mile or two from that also, those streets are completely snow covered. 42, 57, 43, even 41 only has one lane right now with the tire tracks going right through it. So give yourself extra time this morning. Also bundle up because once you factor in the winds, it's actually feeling like just two degrees here into Green Bay. As you step outside into Appleton, it feels like three below zero. And we're going to feel chilly both into the single digits above and below all day long. So the gloves, the hat, that scarf, the hood, you know, to block anything away. Yesterday we had strong winds out of the north that created lake effect snow very extreme along the south shore of Lake Superior so northern Wisconsin they got hit with over a foot and a half of snowfall Lake Nabogaman coming in at 18 inches Ashland the lowest mount 13 inches of snowfall yesterday seems like we got nothing if you look at those totals we are anywhere from two to five inches of snowfall here throughout northeast Wisconsin but it's not over yet if you notice Fox Valley Green Bay Door County We've been getting hit with that snowfall still. In fact, Door County is in a winter weather advisory until 3 p.m. this afternoon from those winds still out of the north. And this high pressure continuing to pull in a northwest wind here for us across the open water of the bay is creating some lake effect snow showers. We're even seeing some of those still spin off from Lake Superior as well. So accumulations still anywhere from two to five inches into Door County today. For the rest of the Fox Valley, we could see a trace to about another inch of snowfall here for us as we head through our rest of our morning. So that's what's going on especially in Door County. Just be careful out there of the slippery roads and the gusty winds recovering those roads. I know that the crews are trying their best to keep them clear, but it's a little difficult given these weather circumstances. We're going to see sunshine tomorrow, but that also means colder temperatures, especially as we crash through those overnight hours. Then as we push into Saturday, we start to warm up a little bit because of this low pressure, but it could bring a few flurries to the north woods. Notice temperatures rise back to mild conditions into the low 30s before we crash to the double digits below zero as we push into next week. Here's a little positivity though to end this forecast. We do have above average temperatures pushing their way towards us for the end of the month. So highs today holding steady in those teens. Light snowfall ongoing still through tonight. We could see some spotty snow showers as we drop cold to the single digits both above and below zero tomorrow into those single digits to low teens. Sunny skies though. It's going to be bright and beautiful. That snow is going to be sparkling. It's a good day to uh, look out the window to enjoy the snow. <laughs> you don't want to be out there for too long. You could have frostbite and of course as we go to Monday, Tuesday, Day. Look at that high of just three degrees on Monday. That's our high temperature. Not even talking about the winds with it yet. It's a good day for just staying inside. Hot chocolate, movies. Exactly. There's a lot to watch on Netflix. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany.